What is up, YouTube people? Back with another pair of low top, low heat. Um, kind of interested to open this. This kind of falls in that, that right in that middle zone of like, I wanted these, I want these, wanted them enough to buy them, but like, I wasn't gonna be, uh, you know, too bent out of shape if I didn't hit on them. Um, and so the main reason is because these are the, the colorway of a classic. You know, one of the three original colorways of the Jordan 1 High from 1985. Um, they debuted in, well, I don't know if they debuted, but the three colorways that were meant for Michael Jordan uh, to wear the Chicago colorway, which he wore the most, um, the uh, black and reds, which I think he just wore for a couple campaigns, and then uh, the black toes, which I think he only wore on court a couple times and then was in a couple ad campaigns with them. So... Anyways, I wanted them for the nostalgia factor, uh, not personal nostalgia factor, but just, you know, the, this is uh, an OG of sorts. Um, Air Jordan 1 Retro Low OG. In white, black, and varsity red. My size 11 and a half, I wear um, most Jordans in my size. They usually come true to size. And so, yeah, I was, uh, you know, lukewarm on these, but uh, Jordan 1s are hot. I like Jordan 1s. Um, I'm no different than most people. I do tend, you know, they're right on the cusp some colorways though. These I like. I unbox these and I like these. I dig these. But they they very close in this colorway fall dangerously close to, you know, some like school dress shoes, bowling shoes. I got that, I think it was Mystic Navy pair. Didn't like them. Too much black leather. Uh, didn't love them. The coral pink ones, didn't love them enough. These I liked enough, and uh, they've grown on me. I love the starfish pair. I love the neutral gray pair. I really like the Chicago color blocking in general, but especially once you go down to the low top, I don't know, there's some idiosyncrasy about me with, uh, with the balance of colors. And the black versus white, it's a harsh contrast just on the, four, you know, this is okay to me. This passes the test, and I kept these, and I've been wearing them. I, I've been enjoying them. I like the contrasting laces there. Um, if you're interested in these, they're all sold out everywhere, but they're not too uh, expensive. You can get them on the secondary market for pretty affordable. And these have the same color blocking as these, um, except these, like I uh, noted already, more of an original colorway than this, you know. There was no 1985 Jordans in this color. Uh, all right, let's get to unveiling these. Before I unveil them, got to plug the channel. Please subscribe. It's it's free. It takes you a second to subscribe. Move the finger over. Hit the button. It's free. I don't make too many videos. Don't worry. Your feed won't be flooded with unnecessary stuff. I just do some unboxings of low heat, some high heat when I can get it, some wear reviews when I get around to them. Maybe I'll make some other content if I get enough subscribers. So drop a subscribe. Let me know. I can do other videos than unboxings. These are just the easiest. All right, with that, let's open and see how we feel about these. Also, quick thanks if you're watching. There's a million reviews and unboxing videos of this, so if you happen to be watching to this point and stuck with this video, um, I really appreciate you. Okay. Hmm. Initial thoughts? Fine with the black leather here. Again, it's the, it's the, the context. It's like, I like a high top with this type of black leather. I mean, it's a classic shoe. Love it. It's just the context of a low top to me sometimes. It looks a little tap dancey, a little bowling shoe, a little, you know, school uniform type. So it's just, it teeters. It's like the Uncanny Valley when like, you know, things look a little too off. Um... In first impressions, pretty nice. I'm not a fan of this like muted matte heel. It makes it look a little cheap in my opinion. And these were $140. I know uh, the prices of everything have gone up, but I think the Jordan 1 Lowe's, I forget what they used to retail at. I don't know. Someone tell me in the comments, maybe it was 120, definitely 130. I feel like 140 is a little high for a uh, Jordan 1 Lowe's 
but that's that's the new world where we live in that's what they cost um so yeah uh yeah just the, to me the that matted uh peel just makes this look a little champ sports you know a little like payless a little coles um sorry to any payless or coles fans out there but this just like makes it look both uh, figuratively and literally like a Jordan 1 uh, mid. Makes it look mid. I wish it was glossy like uh, the toe there, you know. I was fully expecting to open these and be like, you know what, I'm going to keep these. Also matted uh, muted finish on the swoosh. Um, and it's just like kind of a dull red. Is this... I feel like this is a more dull, less vibrant red than, um, maybe not. Maybe it's just the, the sheen. There's no sheen on it. Uh, yeah. So let's, let's look it over a little bit more. Maybe I'll be swayed. Uh, but yes, as I said, the original 1985 Jordan 1, when it debuted, uh, three colorways to begin with, the black and red, the bread, famously, the Chicago one, arguably one of the most popular sneakers of all time. And then the less, maybe the less popular of the three, the black toe. I know a lot of people out there claim the black toe is their favorite and it looks like this, but with a, a high top. Um, I've never been able to cop a retro, don't have an original. Waiting for them to retro the black toe and I will definitely be copping a pair uh, of the high tops. Uh, and this was the next best thing. That's why I jumped on this. I was a little, uh, like I mentioned before, a little hesitant. I only entered so many raffles uh, because I didn't want to be holding the bag on a few pairs of these. These I hit off of the sneakers drop when they dropped on the release day. I got these off sneakers, uh, had some success there, uh, I guess. And it's an easy return if I wanted to with Nike. These are like sold out, but they're not going for much. They're, they're going for basically retail. It's that weird sweet spot of, can't get these. They're all sold out, but they're not reselling for much. Here's the, the StockX prices. They're all like right around retail. Now, unfortunately, with fees and shipping and taxes, if you want these, you're gonna pay, be paying like close to 200. Um, and I'm sure that's not what you wanna be paying these days for a pair of sneakers. In this market not much is going for high you know too much so it kind of like i'm sure it's stung if those of you who really wanted these i'm sure you're like man uh with the down you know with the sneaker market lowering and be things being more attainable you couldn't hit on these i'm sure i i feel you if you didn't hit on them you're like well you copped them you don't feel me and i i, I miss on stuff still you know i wanted those crenshaw skate club uh dunks didn't hit on those wanted um I've want, there's been a bunch of stuff I've wanted recently and I tried for them and I, I was unsuccessful. So I do uh, feel you there. But yes, on a GR pair that was pretty widely released, if you really wanted these and you couldn't snag them for retail, I feel you. That being said, it's not, you know, you might be able to find a pair of these. Dead stock, that's, a, that's the thing. It's like, yeah, you're going to be pay, paying like 200, 180, a little over 200. But Go to a resale shop or look on eBay, Facebook Marketplace. A lightly worn pair. Someone who wore these one, two times, you could get that for a steal probably. So um, look for those like lightly worn pairs, worn once, twice. Probably get them for under retail. So that's your move. Comes with an extra pair of laces, black laces. I like, con most of the time I like contrasting bright laces and no exception with these. I'd do the same thing. I'd keep these red ones in lace them up and uh yeah i've seen some people um on youtube and on instagram throw in some cream or off-white laces i could see thrown in the union two-tone laces actually i was supposed to do that i was supposed to grab those laces out of my union jordan ones uh the royal toes and put them next here but i didn't do that so just envision it the ones with the black laces cream on top or maybe it's vice versa those look sweet in those, and then I would lace up the yellow ones, the alternate laces, because that, yeah, you know, like I said, I like contrasting laces. Um, I think those would, that would look kind of fire. And as I, I mentioned once before, I'm a little OCD about laces and lace swaps. Like, if I was to put a pair of like Adidas or New Balance laces in here, that'd be like throw my OCD off. But you take from another pair of Jordan ones, throw them in here. That's acceptable. Uh, it's, I'm weird like that. 
Uh, I did not hit on the black toe unions. Those are the ones like, I mean, let's be real. We all want those. Uh, I got, I was lucky enough to get the royal ones um, here in LA. And so I have the royal ones. I do not have the black toe unions. But yeah, throwing those laces, that would be kind of dope. I could see that being kind of fire. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to keep these. Um, now, you might be saying like, why not? Uh, well, I'm not made of money. As you can see from my YouTube following, I don't have uh, thousands and thousands and thousands and millions of subscribers. I have under 3,000 <laughs> subscribers. I have a day job. Uh, I live in Southern California. Real estate's expensive. Storage is expensive. I can only keep so many shoes and live like a teenager so much of my life. I need to make hard decisions. And one of those hard decisions would be to part with something like this that you're not in love with. Um, so let's try these on, see how I feel. I can't just keep everything that I, uh, you know, want, unfortunately. You know, maybe if some people subscribed a little bit more, uh, I could. So right now, if you're wondering, I'm wearing some stance, like NBA mid socks. Uh, I was put onto these by the owner of Mag Park, Mickey, who I don't know, but he just said on his Instagram, these are his favorite socks and thought I would give him a, a chance. That's a Meg Park is a streetwear resale shop out here in Southern California. And I got to say, I really do like them. Uh, they're the perfect like comfort height, in my opinion. I don't know if I like, I don't know if I like them on low top Jordans like this. I think these socks are a perfect pants pair. You know, um, when I wear pants, I don't want to wear no shows. I want to wear like regular socks but then you don't need them up around choking your calf I've, I've big boy calf muscles and like most high socks uh choke my legs and so why not wear it you know take a little bit of that uh constriction away and make them these mids so that i think these are good pant socks not huge on the shorts with them wearing these with shorts yet and like yeah as you can see you make your own opinion form your own opinion on them this just to me isn't the the look but i want to try them out with these see what they look like and now you know what they look like i'm a little bit with shorts i'm either no show or you know calf socks one or the other this for me these are the perfect wear with pants socks they're perfect Okay, on foot, I'm digging them a little bit more. What do you guys think? I'm not going to edit this, so I'm not going to lace these up and walk around for you like the other videos. You have those other videos out there. Appreciate you watching this far. Um, man, leave me a comment. I would love to know what the viewers of this video feel. How do you like these? Um, in com and then, like, how do you like them in comparison to other Jordan ones? Like this, I guess, see, this isn't quite matte. This is like in between, I feel like. Because you might be asking, well, aren't these the same? No, I feel like the finish on these is a little shinier. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm not tripping, right? It, this is a little bit more dull, a little bit more muted. Um, also, the, yeah, something about it. Anyways, I like them, but this just, to me, cheapens it. And it might not be cheap. Like, the leather quality might be actually the same as this. Just, it it it, it does look cheaper. And then the, the swoosh is the same as the swoosh. But they've really been hitting the Jordan 1 low as of late. I think they started with, obviously, the Travis Scott ones. But then, you know, they had the Starfishes. And those were kind of the height of sneaker hype in the last few years. The Neutral Greys. Then they had a bunch of like, yeah, the Coral Pink, the Mystic Navy, these ones. Um, uh, but then, you know, with the downturn, like the over, the oversaturation of certain popular sneakers, you know, they, they recently rolled out those elephant print ones. I passed on those too much for me. I didn't like them. Um, they're coming out with those stealth gray ones. If you're a big Jordan 1 low fan, I'm sure you'll be able to cop those for retail. If not... They might even go on sale. It's a clean shoe. I kind of like it, but just that, like the the Jordan ones with the uh, toe coloring, where that color blocking is just—it's not really for me. Um, 
yeah, so I'm gonna pass on those. I have the, the neutral gray OG lows, those are fine. Uh, but yeah, if you've been wanting a pair of drone one lows have been unsuccessful, definitely keep your eye on the stealth gray ones. I think you should be able to cop those if you want them. And it's not a bad shoe at all. If I had no shoes, that would definitely be on my hit list of like building out my collection or rotation. Um, but yeah, let's see here. What are we gonna give for a grade for these? Um, not a nine, don't think an eight. I think this might be a low, man, the high, it's weird because the high tops would get like, you know, like a, a, the, a true retro of the high tops that would probably get a nine from me. Um, these, something about it. Let's, I still like the silhouette, still like the colors, still, you know, still an OG, an homage to an OG. They never did the low top like this back in 1985. Um, so it's not like a true true OG uh retro. Um this is this is you know this is a modern a modern thing. Um I think we're gonna go sub seven. I think we're gonna go like six point nine. Yeah. Seven's kind of my threshold of like I like it. Um I think this is gonna be I'm gonna try to maybe resell these or just return them. Like by the time I resell them, I'll lose money. So I might just return these. Uh yeah. 6.9 for me anyways please subscribe to the channel um i got another unboxing video coming out soon i uh, would like you guys to watch that uh i'm thinking about buy, i'm thinking about buying some different runners all the popular runners i have a bunch already but i'm thinking of you know getting a, my pair a pair of Sauconies, getting a pair of asics getting a pair of hokas getting a pair of ons and having at least one pair each of those other brands uh, that are entering the, you know, the foot, the casual running space and footwear space. Um, but, you know, to do that costs money. And so uh, I need some uh, push to spend my hard earned dollars on that stuff. So give me a like, give me a subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see those unboxings and reviews and uh, I'll be more likely to do it. Appreciate you watching. I'd love to know what you think about these. 6.9 for me. I think these are a return or sell. Uh, I'll update you in the comments if I do end up keeping them. All right, peace.